Well, another week, and here we are. We're trying to make heads or tails out of making this this toy box with the round top on it. Okay, remember last week when we talked about that we had found our radius of the the circle here that goes around everything to be 10 inches. So now this week we've got to do some factoring so that we can figure out exactly the degrees on each piece of, of uh, wood that we have uh, to make up our, our round top. So I'm going to zero in on some, some uh, calculations down here and we'll see if we can make a little sense of it for you. Okay, that should do it. <clears throat> Maybe. Okay, we've got our 10 inches here for our radius. So in order to calculate this, we need to know what the, what the uh, diameter is. So that, if you remember your math, 10 times the, the 10 inches times 2 uh, will equal the diameter, which amounts to 20 inches. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is take the 20 inches times the factor of 3.14 and that will give us the circumference of the circle, the complete circle, uh, which is 62.8 inches. Why, you ask, do we need to know this? So that we can find the angle cut. Let's go to C. We now know that uh, in the uh, circumference we have 62.8 inches. Uh, and we also know from last week that we were talking about that we were going to have our, our pieces for the top of the trunk would be uh, one and a half inches wide. So we take 62.8 divided by 1.5, which will equal 41.8. That's the number of pieces it takes to make a complete circle uh, out of this uh, uh, circumference of 62.8 inches. The next thing we need to do then is go to D Take 180 degrees, divide it by 41.8, and this will come out to a figure of 4.3. That is the degrees that we want to have on each side of our of our um, cut for the boards that we're going to put on the on the top of the, the trunk. So that way we can have a nice tight glue up and that's a big factor when you make a round top, top trunk is to have a, uh, all of your, your uh, segments, uh, if you will, uh, very tight fitting glue joints. The reason I used 180 degrees, we could do a different way, we could go 360 uh, times are divided by 41.8, but then we would have to divide it by 2 in order to get uh, the 4.3 factor, which is the degrees of each angle, or each half of an angle. Because when the two boards come together like this, they each one is a half of the total degree of the, of the angle that they're coming together, if that makes any sense. So let's, let's stick with 4.3 when we cut, cut all of our segments that we're going to make the top out of. So then the next thing to do then, I'm going to try something different. I've never tried this before, but I'm going to try to uh, do kind of a breadboard type thing on each one of the segments 
Actually, I'll do that before I cut up the pieces into segments. Uh, that way, uh, I'll have a breadboard on each end. There won't be any end grain showing uh, at the, the outer end of our circle where it attaches to the side of the box. And that, that makes it so that it paints nicer, or if you want to stain it, like, uh, you won't have end grain stain problems uh, to deal with along with your, with your long grain, which are going to stain differently. And that's the reason for trying the breadboard idea. This is just an experiment, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. Anyway, that's about it for this week. Um, as you know, this is Wayne with What's Up Wayne channel, and I would certainly like you to describe, describe subscribe <laughs> to my channel. And uh, there's lots of other things coming along that you might be interested in, hopefully. And by subscribing, then uh, you will know when I have something new uh, and interesting, of course, uh, coming your way. So that'll be it for this week. I'll be signing off real early this time because I have activities that I have to attend to and I won't be able to do a full, uh, a full size video. So bye for now.